let's continue on in our service. Surrender and betrayal. At that moment, Judas, one of the 12, arrived along with a large crowd of men armed with swords and clubs. They had been sent to arrest Jesus by order of the ruling priests, the religious scholars, and the Jewish leaders. Now Judas, the traitor, had arranged to give them a signal that would identify Jesus, for he had told them, Jesus is the man I will kiss, so grab him and take him safely away. Judas quickly stepped up to Jesus and said, Rabbi, my teacher, and he kissed him affectionately on both cheeks. Then the armed men seized Jesus to arrest him. Meanwhile, Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard when a servant girl came up to him and said, I recognize you. You are with Jesus, the Galilean. In front of everyone, Peter denied it and said, I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Later, as he stood near the gateway of the courtyard, another servant girl noticed him and said, I know this man is a follower of Jesus the Nazarene. Once again, Peter denied it, and with an oath, he said, I tell you, I don't know the man. A short time later, those standing nearby approached Peter and said, we know you're one of his disciples. We can tell by your speech. Your Galilean accent gives you away. Peter denied it. And using profanity, he said, I don't know the man. At that very moment, the sound of a crowing rooster pierced the night. Then Peter remembered the prophecy of Jesus. Before the rooster crows, you will have denied me three times. With a shattered heart, Peter went out of the courtyard sobbing with bitter tears. And now a time of personal reflection for us. In what ways are you feeling betrayed? By the world, by people in your life, or by life itself right now? And maybe in what ways are you feeling betrayed by God? Yeah. And maybe in what ways are you feeling betrayed by yourself or betrayed by your own betrayal of others? And so, in what ways is God inviting you to surrender to his love for you so that you can experience his acceptance in even your most distressing times. And let's pray. Faithful God, help us to surrender our betrayals and our betrayers into your love, that our souls can trust securely in your constant presence and steadfast devotion. Amen. Now we invite you to go again to listen to the song here's my heart on the web page and then take as much time the reflection questions are there take as much time as you need or you want to pray to listen to speak to god and then come back here for the next portion of the service <laughs>